Skyscrapers are feats of complex engineering and technical innovation. But did you know that just one tool made these structures possible? The story of the skyscraper begins with one unforgettable performance. Elisha Otis, an American inventor and old-fashioned tinkerer, had developed a new contraption for platform suspension. Determined to show off his invention, Otis attended the 1854 American Institute Fair with a daring plan. Standing atop a platform, raised by rope to a height of 40 feet, he suddenly slashed the rope. To the crowd's astonishment, the platform remained in place. All safe, gentlemen, all safe. Otis had introduced the elevator to the world. Orders for the new device flowed in from New York, South Carolina, and Massachusetts, and led to the groundbreaking construction of a five-story building in New York City. Meanwhile, in England, a young chemist named Sidney Gilchrist Thomas devised a way to make steel stronger for large-scale construction. By 1885, nearly one-sixth of all bulk steel was produced using his chemical formula, and the groundwork for the modern skyscraper was set. The invention of the elevator and stronger steel made buildings soar to new heights. Lewis Henry Sullivan, the prophet of modern architecture, released designs for tall buildings, paving the way for other skyscrapers, including the Wainwright Building in St. Louis, New York's Flatiron Building, the Wrigley Building in Chicago, and the 102-story Empire State Building. Today, the tallest skyscraper in the world is Dubai's Burj Khalifa at an astonishing 2,722 feet. Some great achievements start where you'd least expect them, with a risk, an experiment, and a handful of imaginative people.